Hi travelers, so I just wanted to do a quick video about the sizing of the Oz Air Airweave Merino mask. Now I will be doing like a more full review of this once I've tested it out and used it um, hopefully on the flight and in Thailand next week. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick sizing video because when I was going about purchasing this, uh, I I was quite confused about the sizing. There was no information online other than just their website with a ruler showing these different sizings. Um, and I will put the chart up here. This is what their website shows. It's a measurement. You measure from the bottom of your eyelid to your chin and that measurement is the size mask that will fit you. Now I noticed that on the side of the box here as well it has the same measurement. So you hold this at the bottom of your eye and then depending on where your chin meets that is the size of your mask. So for me, if I put it about here, um, mine is just at the upper limit of large. Like it's it's just below extra large. So it's kind of, it's just somewhere around there. Like it's, it's very close to the edge. And so with that being said, I bought the large version, but then I emailed the staff at Oz Air and they were very quick to respond and thank you so much for this. They very generously added an extra large so that I could compare the sizes. So with the filter installed, you can see that it doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom edge here. And when I actually take the filter off, I'll just quickly show you. By the way, the, the way it attaches is through these little rubber notches. So I believe you can use the mask like this, but there is a little bit of a, like a light gap. So I, I don't think it's, it would be the most effective cloth mask without the filter in it. Also the earpieces are adjustable. So without anything on it, this is actually quite a good size. It fits perfectly around my chin and nose. <laughs> and actually the amount of filtering is probably about as good as some of the other cloth masks because there's no... the only air is coming up a bit through my nose and so as a cloth mask this one actually fits really nicely. However, when you pop on the filter one notch there and then the other notch like this and it just kind of holds it in place. So it has a foam adjustable foam nose bridge. So now with this filter installed it does still fit very well and if I adjust the filter to my nose there's no longer air escaping at the top and you can see that it fits on my chin, but you know, it kind of is just barely fits. And if I yawn or open my mouth too wide, like, like that, then when I close my mouth, the mask bunches up under the chin. And so this makes me think that perhaps the extra large is gonna be better for me. And you can see that, um, that foam piece there, you can adjust it to sort of be more comfortable to your face shape. But overall, I think it's quite uh, a good, uh, it looks okay, you know, it looks like a, just a mask. So you get inside, you get two filters and each filter lasts, they say for uh, 15 days. So 15 days for each filter. And then this is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. It has like a little tab here and then you pull that down and then it breaks like a seal. And then um, your mask is inside in a case like so. So I have to say the packaging is very nice. And it does feel very premium. And inside is your um, filter. And I'll just try it on first. So without any filter, let's see. So I can feel, yeah, it definitely goes higher on my nose and it comes a little further under my chin without any uh, filter inside. 
So let's install the filter. Okay, so the filter is now installed. So I can feel like it feels like it goes quite a bit further up on my nose, but there's definitely more coverage on the chin as you can see. But power when I talk and open my mouth, it doesn't bunch up as much. So that's the quick video. I just wanted to show you what the two sizes fit like. Um, so if your measurement is like me, you kind of hit just near the upper edge of the large, you might consider going for the extra large for a little more kind of comfort. I think this is more comfortable, um, but I think I might need to do a bit more testing wearing them both uh, interchangeably for a bit more of a longer period of time and see which one, um, you know, in the long run feels more comfortable. Um, but that's basically it. Just a quick video on the sizing of the Oz Air Mask. I hope that helps and um, be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date for the full review coming very shortly.